Hey everyone, my name is Pastor Dina and this is Northeast Kids Online. So for the past couple of weeks, we have been talking about so much information. So this week, we're gonna slow things down, press on the brakes and just see where we're at. So for those of you who may be just joining us, at Northeast Kids, we talk about the big God story. This is the story from the beginning to end of the Bible. We have been going over the end of the Old Testament and we are starting today with the kings. We've seen that there have been so many kings over the nation of Israel. Some of them were good, but most of them were not. In fact, most of them were really bad. But there is one good king that the Bible talks a lot about, and his name is David. King David ruled the nation of Israel and God made a very big promise to David. God promised David that one day, a family member of his would save the entire world. But we're not there yet. During David's life, there was a lot of difficulties that he went through. There was a time when he defeated a giant and then there was times when he almost died. But thankfully, if you remember, his best friend, Jonathan, was there to save him. As we saw throughout David's life, he went through a lot of good and bad, but he was a man that loved God. After King David's reign ended, the people, they turned away from God and they started doing some really bad things. You see, people no longer really cared about God or what he wanted. So God sent some special people called prophets. These prophets spoke on behalf of God and they told the people to stop doing what they were doing and to repent, which means to turn away from their sin and turn back to God. We saw this through Elijah and Elisha. Elijah proved to the prophets of Baal that God is the one true God. And then Elisha helped the leper, the sick man, Naaman, get to know God. You see, God used these two prophets to reach people outside of the Israelites, outside of God's chosen people, because God is merciful and God loves all people. God didn't love just the Israelites, but God loved everyone. And God wanted to provide a way for everyone to repent. Sadly though, the people just weren't getting it. They still placed their own desires and their own wants above God. So God had to allow them to suffer the consequences of their actions. The Israelites were invaded and conquered by other countries and they lived in something called exile. That means that the Israelites, they no longer had a human king. The Israelites were subject to do whatever the other countries wanted them to do. And their living conditions weren't that great. Still, in spite of all of this, the people still were not getting it. They didn't want to fully worship God. So, and that's it. That's where the Old Testament ends. Seems kind of like a weird place for it to end, right? Well, that's where the Old Testament ends, but not where the big God story ends. Thankfully, that's only half of the story. Remember how I talked about how God made a promise to David? Well, that promise is about to be fulfilled. In the future weeks, we're gonna be talking about how God fulfilled that promise through someone you may or may not have heard of, Jesus. We're gonna start talking about how Jesus came and saved the world, but we're not there yet. This upcoming Sunday, we're gonna do a review. We're gonna play some games and we're gonna quiz you to see how much you really know the Old Testament. But before I let you go for today, let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I thank you so much for each and every person watching this. God, I thank you that you are with your people and you're for them. And even when things may not seem like they're making sense, God, I pray that instead of giving into our own fears, that we would put our trust and hope in you. God, I pray that you would bless each and every person watching this and keep them safe. God, I thank you for them and we love you. In your name I pray, amen, amen. Well, thank you so much and have a great week. Bye.